It is ready. It is ready. Hello, loves. Can you believe that October's over? Like, my mind is blown right now. I can't believe Halloween's over. We're moving into Thanksgiving, and then Christmas, and then New Year's. And I'm kind of freaking out. Like, where has time gone? Anyway, I don't want to sound like every other girl on YouTube, even though everyone's probably as shocked as me that this month went so fast. So let's just get into my October favorites. So the first thing I have isn't beauty at all. It's a coffee creamer. For you coffee lovers out there like me, this is by Coldstone Creamery, and it is the flavor Sweet Cream. It is delicious. I put it in any flavor coffee, and it's just so good. Sweetens it right up. Um, that's all, really. I don't really know what else to tell you, except for it's great. If you love coffee, and you love sweet things, try this. I got it at my local grocery store, and I think it goes on sale. So there you go. Um, next thing I have are these two L'Oreal nail polishes. I think they're from a collection, but I'm not sure. I don't really follow nail polish collections, but I think I saw a girl on YouTube say these are from a new one. Anyway, the gray one is Gracian Goddess, and this one is After Hours. This one it probably looks kind of black to you, but it's actually a really, really deep blue. It's so pretty. Like, you have to look at it in the store or something to know what I'm talking about. It's really, really pretty. This is my favorite. I would definitely go check this out if you're looking for a new nail polish for fall. And this one is really great as well. I didn't think it was going to be as pigmented as it is, but it's so pigmented and it's my favorite gray ever. It kind of has a blue undertone and it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous for fall, gorgeous for winter. I'm going to be wearing these for months to come. My next thing is something I rediscovered at my mom's house recently. It is my old Abercrombie perfume. And it's literally just called Abercrombie perfume. There's no name for it. Um, I was recently dog sitting at my mom's house. And when I'm over there, I feel like I'm shopping because a lot of my old body sprays, lotions, um, bath stuff, perfumes are still over there. So if I'm like running short on something here in my apartment, I just go to my mom's and I shop through my old stuff and rediscover. And I found my old Abercrombie perfume and I was so excited. It smells so good. I don't know how to describe it at all. I'm really sorry that I can't describe it, but it smells great. It's already like less than halfway gone. I mean, I've had it for so long. I probably haven't worn it in like three or four years, but I used to wear it all the time. So I'm going to look online to see if they still sell it. If they don't, I'm going to like Google it, try to find it on Amazon or something. This is literally from the baby Abercrombie store, like not Abercrombie and Fitch, the little kid store, because this is from when I was in like sixth or seventh grade, and it just, when I smell it, I feel like I'm like 11. <laughs> it's wonderful though, and I don't feel like a little kid when I wear it now. I think it smells very sophisticated. Next thing I have, my mom gave to me. I didn't get it when I was shopping at her house or anything. It's this hydrating body scrub, and the scent is Fig. I'm not sure where she got this or when she got it. I know she never used it before, so she gave it to me. It smells great. If that's what figs smell like, then I love figs because it smells really good. I'll try to find this online, maybe. I think the brand is Pure Simplicity because that's what it says on the back, but I'm not really sure. But if you can see it right there, there's those little, like, grainy things in there and those really really exfoliate your skin I like using this like after I shave my legs or something to get off all that dead skin I just use it in the bath we'll scrub I'll use it all over my body but I really like it for my legs just scrub it on um, you can use like a loofah or your hand anything and then rinse it off I think it says to leave it on for for like five minutes it says then rinse clean so I'll try to do it at the beginning of my shower and rinse it off at the end this is really great. It smells so, 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 so good. The next couple things I have are fairly new. Um, the first one is my Aussie Sprunch Hairspray. I use this when I had scrunched my hair. You guys have seen my hair scrunch before. It's like those little, little curls. I don't use this when I curl my hair with a curling wand or a curling iron. I don't use it when I straighten my hair. I'll just use like a aerosol hairspray or whatever I have that week. And 
This, though, I like to use it when my hair is scrunched because it's called scrunch. Like, that's what it's for. It's for curls. It doesn't make your hair hard or crunchy or anything. It just really holds my curls. I'm not going to say it's like a miracle product. And if you have, like, straight hair that's hard to scrunch, it's not going to give you a whole bunch of curls. I already have curls in my hair that come out when I scrunch it. Um, so it just holds it in there. It doesn't actually give me more curl. It just makes them last longer. But if you do have curly hair and you're looking for something to use to like tame down frizz or hold your curl longer, make it look nicer throughout the day, I highly, highly suggest this. I got it at my drugstore and it was fairly cheap. My last thing, my favorite, is my Big Sexy Hair Root Pump. It looks like this, so it kind of looks like a, you know, an aerosol spray, but this is a mousse, and I've never had a mousse like this before. When I think of mousse, I think of the kind you spray in your hand and, like, rub on your hair, but this, I actually will lift up my hair and spray this right on my roots, and then I will proceed to scrunch my hair. I, I've never used this when I've curled my hair or strained it or anything, but you can. I know you can use it on dry hair to just get extra volume, just, like, flip your head over and dry it, like dry the mousse on your dry hair, and it'll give you volume. But for me, when I use it, when I scrunch my hair, I scrunch my hair with like regular mousse, and then I just put this on my roots and dry it all together with a diffuser, and it gives me crazy volume, because when my hair is scrunched, it's like curled everywhere, but the top is more flat. But when I put this on, it's like wild, and it's crazy, just like I like it. So this stuff can be kind of expensive. Um, I did want to give you guys a warning though. Um, if you buy this at your drugstore or at a Walmart or at a grocery store or something, it's going to be around $20. If you buy it at your salon, like really any professional salon near you, it's going to be fairly cheaper. Like mine was $13. Um, from working in a salon, I have learned that you can't really trust salon products if you don't get them at a salon. If you have any Paul Mitchell products in your house right now, grab them. On the back of them, it says a warning on there, and it tells you, like, this product is not guaranteed unless you buy it from a professional salon. Because sometimes people come and they will buy salon products, put a whole different thing in them, like a swab or a VO8, something you get for, like, 79 cents. And then they'll go sell it to Walmart or your drugstore or your grocery store for more money. And then Walmart or your grocery store or drugstore will sell it to you for even more money. So you end up paying like $20 for something like this, which might not actually even be this. Or you could just go to your salon that might be what, an extra like five or 10 minute drive and pay like five to $7 less and you are guaranteed to get the real product. I just really wanted to warn you guys about that because I never knew of that until I started working in a salon. So I don't know how many of you know that, and I just look out for you guys, like I would hope you would look out for me. Um, but that is everything. I don't really have any more to say, even though I feel like I could talk all day today. Um, happy November. I hope you guys are going to have a great month. And it's not like you'll be seeing me. You'll see me in a few days. I'll be back with another video. So leave me comments, questions, suggestions criticism, anything you want down below. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!